Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the effect of change in steam input. So the, this meaning is when two alternators, look at the two alternators, operated in parallel. If any alternator, the steam input is varied. The steam input is varied. How the effect will be, how the effect will be on the parallel operation of alternators, we will discuss here. Here we have the two alternators. This is the alternator one and this is the alternator two. So both are having a speed 1500 rpm. Here also the 1500 rpm. So this alternator having the synchronous impedance of ZS1. This alternator having the synchronous impedance of ZS2. If the steam input is increases, here the thing is if if the steam input of one alternator is increases in this case both the steam inputs are similar same value if the steam input is increases for so for example just take it as this is the machine one and this is the machine two for the steam, in, steam input is increases for the machine one then what happened for machine one when the speed is increases the speed is increases and with the speed the emf due to the field also increases the if also increases how it increases here emf equal 4.44 into flux into frequency into number of turns here you know the relation between speed and the frequency speed equal 120 f by p 120 f by p sorry like this here the frequency increases speed value increases so here speed increases frequency increases then automatically the induced emf also increases right so by that so if the machine running with 1600 rpm just assume that if the machine is so machine one for example here we have the machine one the machine one is uh, having the speed of 1600 rpm 1600 rpm machine one but initially it is 1500 we are increasing to 1600 rpm giving more mechanical input so by that we can take it as it will get the more mechanical input so by that what happened the synchronizing power is produced supplied to the machine one from this what happened here the machine one is there and machine two is there from machine 1 to machine 2 the synchronizing power is synchronizing power is produced first initial synchronizing power is produced due to the unbalance and supplied to machine 2 and it is supplied to machine 2 here the machine 2 is there that will be supplied then synchronizing torque is also produced that opposes the machine one so here also there will be synchronizing torque is also produced Synchronizing torque is also produced that opposes the machine one opposes the machine one okay so the opposite the machine one and accelerate the machine two so accelerate the machine two that means machine 2 is having the speed machine 1 is try to decrease the speed because the synchronizing torque is try to decrease the torque. that synchronizing torque is try to increase the this torque okay so both machines are at same speed the finally by these conditions the both machines will have the same speed finally it will reach the same speed okay maybe that speed may be both machines having the same speed that speed may be approximately so for, for machine one initially having the 1600 speed 1600 rpm then it will try to reach the 55 1550 rpm but machine two is having the speed of 1500 rpm then it will try to increase 15 1550 rpm by the synchronizing torque and the synchronizing power okay 
So finally, we can make some relation is like this. So what happened? Initially, it is at E1, okay? And it is also at E2. It is also at E2. And it will be increases to E1 dash. Increases to E1 dash. Then by that, we will get the synchronizing current value is like this. How can we find out the synchronizing current? Synchronizing current is E1 minus E2 by ZS1 plus ZS2. ZS1 plus ZS2. That will be like this. ZS1 plus ZS2. That will be like this. So this is the synchronizing current generated by the two machines. Synchronizing current generated by the two machines. So we will give one statement is like this. That is if the steam input of one machine increases then the synchronizing power will comes into the picture so look at here the synchronizing power is comes by that thing which is active with respect to syn synchronizing power then machine one operate as generator here the machine one is operate as generator and machine two operate as motor so here the machine one the most important thing operate as generator so both are generators initially but but here temporarily up to unbalance this is operate as motor the synchronizing decelerates the first machine whose steam input is increases so finally synchronizing torque is produces that will decelerate the first machine whose steam input is increased which has the steam input try to decrease this and accelerate the other machine set frequency is equalized finally the frequency will be become equalization try to maintain the frequency next so if the machine is connected to infinite bus bar if the same machine we have the same alternator one alternator is there and it will be connected to an infinite bus bar this is the infinite bus bar okay then look at the statement there will be no change its terminal voltage and frequency for whatever may be the disturbance so if it has some disturbance it is have some disturbance um, but the terminal voltage as well as frequency both are constant both are constant so whatever the disturbance because infinite bus bar the voltage and frequency both are constant so both will become the constant infinite voltage and the frequency both will become the constant okay so this is about when two machines are two alternators are parallelly operated when if one machine is having having the more steam input that time the synchronizing power will be generated and synchronizing torque will be produces that synchronizing torque try to maintain the constant speed for the both the machines both the machines okay then both the machines and here the machine one operate as generator and machine two operate as motor that will be like this okay next if we are using an infinite bus bar there is no change in the terminal voltage as well as frequency next next concept is if two alternators under load condition so up to now we discussed about only that alternators are in no load condition if two alternators are under load condition what happen we will look at here here we have two machines E1 and the E2 are there. E1 and E2 are there. So it has the ZS1 and it has the ZS2. So this is the first alternator synchronous impedance. This is the second alternator synchronous impedance ZS1 and ZS2. And it will generate the current IA1 and it will generate the current IA2. Okay, both should be generated. So IA2 not like right here because 
you should be right here ia2 ia1 is current generated from the e1 generator ia2 is current generated from the e2 generator so both should be the total current supplied to the alternator will be we will write like this ia1 plus ia2 ia1 plus ia2 so here so when two alternators are operated in parallel it should follow the some conditions those conditions are the e the generated emf of the two machines should be constant that means e1 and e2 should be constant this is the first thing and two alternators currents will be the constant ia1 equal ia2 assume that these are the conditions for example and the power factor of the first machine pf1 equal to power factor of the second machine that is the pf2 and active power generated by the first machine kw1 is equal to active power generated by the second machine kw2 and reactive power generated by the first machine equal to reactive power generated by the second machine so both should be the same okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you